This is International Boxing News, and I'm here with the British Super Welterweight Champion, uh, Troy Williamson. How are you doing today, mate? All good, mate. Just picked up a nice little takeaway. <laughs> yeah, mate, picked up a nice takeaway, so I'm going to put a dip my hand in that. I've got a few bites of that, I think, when I get home. Nice, mate. Well, I'll, I'll try not to uh, keep you too much this evening then and so you can enjoy your takeaway after. So, first of all, I'd like to I'd like to start also on uh, congratulating you on, on a fight. It happened a few months ago now, but I was it. I this is one of the one of the best fights I've ever watched live. I was in the arena and um, winning winning the British title against Ted Cheeseman. Um, what was it like? What was it like being a part of that fight? Obviously, uh, after it's 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 got a great reception. It's heralded as one of the fight one of the. British title fights, best British title fights of all time. How does it feel to be a part of that fight? Yeah, it's uh, good. Obviously, it's, for me, to be honest with you, for me, it's a long way in the past now. So it's obviously I'm looking, looking ahead, of, looking ahead, and looking what's in the future. But for people that still be talking about that fight, like you say, obviously, it just shows what what type of fight it was, and it was a very exciting fight. But um, uh, if I'm completely honest, I'm I've passed it now. I'm sick of sick of uh, people mentioning just that win. Just people just feel like I'm just I'm just known for that that win over the team. So uh, I'm just looking forward to getting on with the future and moving on, moving on from there and getting some getting some more big big wins and bigger fights. Perfect. Definitely a bigger fight has been has been ordered by the British Boxing Board of Control. Obviously, a um a fight with Josh Kelly, obviously former Olympian. Um, how did how did you feel when that fight was uh, was ordered? Uh, I'm really happy because it's a massive fight. It's a massive fight for British boxing, and it's, it's even bigger. It's two northeast. It's an out northeast derby. It's going to be held in Newcastle, so it's huge for the for the city of Newcastle. Perfect. And then obviously you went to um Kelly's Kelly's last fight. Obviously you were wearing the Newcastle Newcastle top. Obviously, um, you said on Twitter, I think it right it um. That's his fault. <laughs> he, he got he got me to wear it. Was it, it you said you said it um you said it kind of uh, ruffled a few feathers on on Twitter and things like that. Can you explain kind of what happened? Obviously, I don't think it was shown much on the broadcast. It was only really on yeah. social media. Yeah, it did obviously fucking blown 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 Twitter up and obviously all, all all types of social media. To be fair, a lot of people were talking about it saying I I even had his dad uh, approach me on 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 the fight, asking me why I was wearing the Newcastle top, saying I didn't didn't support Newcastle. I was there, no, I didn't support just because I'm not from Newcastle doesn't mean I don't support Newcastle. Uh, so yeah, obviously it must have got under the skin. See that that's what I want for. I, I want to, to build a fight and get people talking, and that's exactly what I've done. So win win for me. I definitely think so. Mission mission successful. I think it definitely got every everyone talking. Um, after his fight, I think a few people were talking more about you wearing the Newcastle top than uh Kelly's fight itself. So no, uh, mission successful. I think on that front. No, I'm I'm not surprised because the fight was boring. If I'm honest with you, I was sat the side and I probably spent more time on my phone than actually watching the fight. Uh, that's probably, that's probably why a lot more people are talking about the Newcastle over this fight. No, fair, 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 fair enough. And then, so um, go, going into the fight, obviously you said it's one you're kind of excited for. Obviously, huge fight. How do you see that fight going? Yeah, and the fight is going to be in five rounds, and he's in, he's in a whole world of trouble. And if I'm honest with you, I can't. He's not going to get rid of me in five rounds. So, so take take it, uh, take it from that. It's only going to go one one way, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to see if he can see our swim, and I think he'll see. I definitely, I think you, I think you're definitely right. It's definitely a sink or swim fight. Obviously, him coming off the, um, you're very much on the rise right now, and he's obviously come off a couple of good wins, but obviously, and got the loss against Avenissian. So I d- definitely think sink or swim is the is the correct, um, correct description for the fight. Um, and then you you mentioned the fight will take place in, in Newcastle. Is that set, or is or is or have terms been agreed? What's the what's the update on that? Yeah, uh, we're in talks with the fight. The fight will happen. Uh, nothing, nothing's been, uh, nothing, nothing signed, signed yet. I suppose but it's September tenth, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll have have more info in the next couple of weeks. Perfect. Well, I look forward to that fight being officially announced. I've got um kind of what one more one more question. This is more kind of a general 
more of a generic question about boxing on the whole. Um, obviously, the boxing's flying right now. I don't think it's been in a, in a better position for a long time. But who who are the fighters that you like? Uh, you like watching at the moment? Maybe some fighters who are up and coming. Who who are the fighters you like watching? Uh, fighters like watching at the moment. I like watching. I'm a big fan of Javante Davis. Frank, Frank Davis. Uh, I like Lawrence Coley. Uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, I think they're they're, they're the, the the top three that came straight to me. There, that's what, what I like watching at the minute. Perfect. Well, uh, Troy, I know I know you've got a takeaway to eat, so uh, so that's all my questions, sure. mate. But no, enjoy that, and I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. No problem. No problem, Troy. Take care. Okay, mate. Bye-bye, mate.